Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick AME002 titled Introduction to AutoCAD MEP 2010 Interface. The purpose of this tip and trick is to give you a brief introduction to the MEP 2010 interface and highlight some of the enhancements. More information can be acquired from our support desk if required by contacting customer services on 01784 419911 or by emailing customer.services at cardline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we're issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch. So let's take a look then. What we're looking at here is up at the top of the screen we've got the enhanced ribbon for 2010. Now 2009 introduced the ribbon in uh, all of the Autodesk products, well all the AutoCAD products anyway. And 2010 has gone a little bit further by making the MEP ones MEP specific. So in here we're on the HVAC palette and we've got duct, duct fittings, equipment, etc. We do have access to some pipe tools on here as well. Along here we've also got our sectioning tools and on the analysis tab we've got access to the interference detection palette and spaces, zones, etc. Moving back to the home one, what I'm going to do first is just going to add a piece of duct by clicking on the button up here which gets us access to the familiar add ducts dialog box. I'm just going to add a piece of duct along there. And by selecting the duct, you get access to the all of the editing functions that you'd normally have on the right-click menu. Now, the right-click option is still there as well for all of you guys that prefer that. But you do have all of those options all along the ribbon here. Just press an escape out of there. What I'm going to do now is just quickly go down to the bottom right-hand corner and switch the workspace over to piping. Now by changing the workspace also changes the selection of tools on the ribbon as well so it's context sensitive here. We also have enhancements to the quick access toolbar here so there's more options on here as well. And also on the tool palette one of the enhancements for 2010 is slope piping so something we've been waiting for for a little while. One other option for 2010 is the ability to draw parallel pipe work. Now more information on these functions will be released at a later date on another tip and trick so don't worry we'll be we'll be covering those at a later date. There are many other enhancements which can be found in the new features workshop but also as I mentioned at the start if you want any more information regarding the enhancements on 2010 don't hesitate and call our customer service team. Hope this has been a helpful introduction. Thank you.